Hi Scorpio, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Welcome back my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for your likes and shares. Although you are the last one because you had the less likes, if you would like to be number one and get the be the first one to get the reading, then please share and like as much as possible. And welcome to the new people. If you have landed on this uh, channel by accident, then it has a meaning, hopefully. And I hope you enjoyed the readings. I will give you all the information at the end of the video, because I want to start reading. And some people uh, don't like the introductions. They find them too long, but you, then you miss out on the news. So please hold on if you would like to hear the updates. I'm using the Shadowlands and the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. This is the Querent card or the overall energy, Monday, Friday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I use the corner cards to clarify the three cards around it or the three cards to clarify the corner card. So to keep it short, uh, here we go with your reading and I'm also doing extensively the Oracle card and the um, Querent All Over Energy card. So like I said, hold on to right to the end of the video. You have the Queen of Pentacles. So you might be finding out you're pregnant. If you are too mature to, be, uh, to get pregnant, then um, you could be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child, so you might become a grandmother, a godmother, or an aunt. Who knows? Your friend might be giving birth. Okay. And there could also be a birth of a project. This could be a job, this could be a hobby, this could be something totally new to you. Okay, so the ground is fertile to get pregnant or birthing a new project. The Queen of Pentacles is Mother Earth, like the Empress. She's known uh, for that, and she nurtures all the seeds that she sows. She makes them sprout out, grow, and blossom, and then she can harvest. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles also stands for Virgo, as the King of Pentacles uh, represents Taurus, but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn. Okay. We are all made out of different elements and planets and zodiac signs. So if this reading doesn't uh, resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Okie dokie. I hope you will enjoy it. By the looks of it, the last couple of weeks you did uh, have a lot of likes and you were nearly at the top. So yes, I hope you will enjoy this one. Okay, so that could be something uh, to consider. You might start a new project and you'll be nurturing it like your baby. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, or you are nurturing a baby and it's growing, it's coming to fruition. Then you have the King of Wands. You definitely know what you want and you're taking a page out of his book. Okay. Because the King of Wands, um, he's, he, he, he plans, he's, he's treacher, I, I forgot, uh, he's logical, he stra strategically plans things. Like the Queen of Pentacles, she knows what kind of flowers she wants in her garden, so she knows what is coming to fruition. Um, okay, she's got green fingers, and her husband has got the golden fingers. The meanest touch. So the king of uh, uh, wants wants what he wants, and he will get it. He's creative enough to adjust his plans. He's flexible enough. He stands for passion, action, creativity, logic. So, um, if you might be meeting a king of wands, that the king of wands is Aries, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. On Wednesday, you have the Knight of Wands. You have a lot of fire in your reading this week, uh, Scorpio. There you go. 
The Knight of Wands could be any three of the fire signs Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. When the Knight comes in, he also stands for moving home because he's active and he's swift and he brings you news but you have to act upon this news swiftly and directly I'm putting the cards a little bit lower so that you can see the top cards but I also take them up separately so don't worry if you can't see them it's just that I can get so many on at the table on the camera screen on that was Wednesday so at the end of the week you might reach your goal it's a bit like the nine of cups because who doesn't want nine of pentacles a little bit more money money doesn't is money is also the root of all evil, evil that's what I'm hearing now so there might be somebody out there that might abuse the money or misuse it and not keeping something for a rainy day so that you might get present in to the negative side of the nine of pentacles feeling that you haven't got enough money to do what you want that your wings are clipped well now it is an ending of a phase you will get that money there might be news that you have a promotion or that you have an inheritance or whatever that money is coming towards you that you can get that loan so that you can throw out your wings spread your wings and fly freely and go into a new face good news is on its way an ending to difficulties and a new beginning is on the horizon you have learned from the past so I think you'll be more careful with your finances and your money you have learned from the past you don't don't cry over spilled milk whether this is business wise or with relationship wise um, you know that a uh, uh, passion doesn't last if you want to carry on this passionate relationship don't get burned know your boundaries and know their boundaries and make sure that they know your boundaries and that you know theirs otherwise it will be burning out and you've learned from the past so pick up those two cups and carry on and multiply them you can change the present and you can change the future you have learned from the past you don't cry over spilled milk I don't think you will because you can spread your wings you're away and free okay Scorpio well you have judgment upside down judgment like this means a new beginning a second chance it is upside down so this is all, if I have an extended reading then this would be the past line the present and the future but I'm reading it as a week okay so this card is a clarifying card you thought that new beginning would not come well the time is 10 past 10 um, and it's t 10 past 10 or 10 to 10 that is for me I get to hear this this beginning of an old TV series Rin Tin Tin and Rin Tin Tin was also cowboy time so that coffee time is cowboy time is taking a pause so the cowboy time is over okay the cowboy time is over the new beginning is coming because you've got the nine you also have the death card I'll come to it in a minute you have learned from the past and you're making a new path for yourself so there is a new beginning so this means upside down uh, not a new beginning not a second chance no you're leaving the past behind and you're making your own path you have your own green fingers and the ground is now fertile for this new beginning it wasn't the right time it was the cowboy time time to take rest and peace to meditate and to contemplate think about things on what you want how to carry on and then to take action to be the king of fire you might have felt out of uh, out of sorts you might feel 
might have felt left out, but you're coming back in. And way are you coming back in. Big time. So, you are joining the world again. Wow. Because look, the angels had your back and the divine. That's the gates to heaven. The five of pentacles is over. You're coming back into balance. Why? Because look, you're taking action, it is fertile and it's an end of a phase and you've learned from the past. Now this corner is the two of cups. You're emotionally in balance. So you're back in the real world. You have done with moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. You're going to spread your wings. The ground is fertile. You've been nurturing your idea and you're taking action. You're going to get an answer, positive news on your answer. This could be, like I said, a new passion, but it would be a better if it was love than it is durable and for long term. And I think you might be meeting your soulmate. Mate. The two of cups means, like the Gemini, your soulmate. Emotional balance with somebody else. This could be with a Scorpio, as you have the death card. The death card, and you can see the Scorpio just there. Just to remind you that it represents Scorpio. You, ha in, you have been in a transformational period. She looks like the witch with her cauldron. She's been cooking her brew. You have as well. That was your transformational period. You are better. You've got more knowledge now. now. You know what you want and you're going for it. So now you're no longer the caterpillar. You're leaving the old behind. You're, you are the butterfly. You are spreading your wings into a new beginning and a face. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. learn from that that you can cook your own ideas <laughs> I don't know but the angels are definitely with you as you have number 11 from the uh, card called the council now what does council mean for you council could be meetings and gatherings getting help seeking help somebody that's like a nurturing feather like a feather nurturing person like a mother you might have gone back to your mother or an other nurturing person and dis and held counsel on what to do and how to open up your heart here they are holding their heart and the sh uh, solar plex so you have opened up your heart and your solar plex you are inviting in love and all that is good. Let's see what Collard Baron Reed says. The Council are the luminous beings who hold the collective, the angels, and number 11, the porthole of the angel. There you go. Those are also called the luminous beings who hold the collective wisdom of the humanity. They are the ones before whom you will do your life review. When you cross into the world of spirit, a life review is when we place our good and our bad deeds on the divine scale. On the divine scale. Sorry about that. And attempt to explain why we did not love or forgive or dare as greatly as we might have. Know that their wisdom is available to you at all times when you live in a state of yes, in an unconditional relationship with life. They remind you of your place around a sacred fire. Well, you've certainly got a lot of fire here, okay? And here the angels are appearing as well, or the luminous beings which have been reserved for you since the beginning of time you will claim it when you when you own your own inner wisdom there you are you're learning from the past so you are claiming your inner wisdom 
Now the invitation or the task at hand, inviting you to take action, the council has a message for you. Listen to your inner senses. The handwriting is already on the wall, so look about you and you will discern its meaning. Do not wait for further signs, embark on your journey. Take action. Speedily, directly, like I said. To love deeply, forgive sincerely, and dare greatly. Passion, turning into a long time. No. Be honest and clear. Okay. Let it grow. Nurture it. Take the leap without requiring life to assure you of success. Yes, you've learned from the time. Nurture it, don't question it, take it as it comes, but know the steps that you have to take to learn to know each other. So spread your wings. Talk with each other, communicate with each other. Know what each one wants and that is how you can make a relationship work. Turn respect and interest towards each other. Now, we have the Queen of Earth. And like I've done with all my zodiac signs, she is the um, big arcana, or the, uh, the uh, court, uh, the court. This is the Queen of Earth. And you see all these signs, and this is red. You'll have to take my word for that. So that's the element. This is the touch symbol, and sometimes you've got more symbols like planets and blah blah blah, and that's why you I take the book. So you have uh, court cards. So this is the element. Then you have the type of touch, the sub element and the sub-element is usually another zodiac sign or a planet and then you've got the chakra so here you have the um, uh, red f uh, chakra which is earth and then you've got um, fire because that is uh, orange and then you've got the red element Okay. So now we're going to another page, and I will read it from there. Now it's getting all skewed with, but that is the Queen of Pentacles we're taking and getting detailed information. The Queen of Earth is a mature female that nurtures. Characteristics of the Queen of Earth is interested in community, protective, Mother Earth, quality, health conscious. Sub-element is water. So mm, that is you, Scorpio, I think. Mm, it could be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And the musings is taking care, physical care of others and kindness. Okay. She's health conscious. That's the quality. Then the sub-element is water. The attributes, the queen of earth is the quint essential earth mother she gives us a sense of security and connectedness she's interested in the community the queen of earth loves being at home and has practical realistic view of life she's a very kind and nurturing lady her greatest desire is to be is to take physical care of others so this could be a job in the physical care, in the health care. On the downside, she can manifest as sluggish as stagnant. Okay. So be careful. Stay active. Because you've got fire here. Advice. Trust this person and let them into your life. Like I said, you might be taking care. This could be to do with a job. This can also be um, Virgo, the Queen of Pentacles, around you, but don't uh, forget Taurus or Capricorn. Trust them. The story. 
Georgia owns a car repair shop. It is an unusual vocation for a woman over 70, but she is successful. Her shop is the hips, hippest place in town. If a car repaired, if a car repair shop can be hip, well, I don't know. The office is actually pleasant, and several times a month, the garage gets cleared of cars to host community events. Georgia is also a marvelous homemaker. She loves to entertain and cook huge meals for her family and friends. That is how diverse she can be. She can work outside the door and she can nurture the people she loves to nurture. Friends, family or even in her work. So that is a beautiful and uh, I will be making you are earthed definitely Aquarius you are earth you have come full circle you have learned from the past you're taking action you're getting news and it's going to be good news most probably news for the long term with durability because of these two pentacles okay and there's a lot of people coming in you might if it is with regards to passion or love then you meet your soulmate so this could be a fire sign or a pentacle sign or even a water sign and that could be Scorpio okay I hope you have enjoyed this reading I wish you a beautiful week ahead and I hope to see you in the life I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards but I also answer questions that are donated or supported by a donation that is super chat or a super sticker. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, an extended reading, have a look at the website for what kind of readings are available. Either click on the white dot circle in right at the top right hand corner in the screen and then it will take you to my website and there's also the click through to the other Reiki master, Brenda Tarot Readings. Um, she does a, a Reiki as well and she also works with the chakra because of Reiki and is a reader. Now, if you uh, don't, can't click through, then have a look below the video. That's all the information there as well. There is a competition going, so at the end of this screen, there you will see a playlist with uh, the competition video. If you would like to join in the competition and win your Shadowlands or vice versa deck, then uh, join in and dare. And the second place will get what um, the first place hasn't taken as the choice. And the third place is a free reading for 20 minutes. And nobody is a loser because we're making a vision board. And um, that is what you will have if you are not successful, if you're not one of the three winners. You'll still have your vision board and on Friday night this coming week I'll be going live to discuss the competition and the vision boards. Do you have issues with it? Do you have questions about it? Then pop in and have a look. If the if uh, I might not do free cards tomorrow night but I might be open for uh, questions that are supported by donations. Okay, well I wish you a beautiful week and I hope to see you and I do put out notifications before I go live on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot and of course on Instagram also Charlie's Angel Tarot and in the community tab from YouTube as I've had complaints from my viewers that they are not getting notified. So, I hope to see you either in the live or, if not, in the next video. Please like and share, stay safe and stay well, and God bless. Ciao, ciao.